What's up everybody? So today I'm here in Lake Las Vegas with Mashid Parsons and uh, she's actually the owner and broker of her company and today we're going to be touring one of her beautiful listings by Blue Heron but uh, before we get into it uh, let's talk a little bit about this community. So we are in a beautiful newer community. Mm -hmm. Most of these homes were built in 2021 by Blue Heron. Uh, there's approximately about 163 homes in the community. It's a gated community, 24 hour security. You have lake views, so it's a really beautiful area. Okay, so let's start off by the exterior of this home. Let's talk about it. Yeah. I love it, love the design, multiple colors. Everybody's starting to move towards that modern style home, right? That's what yes. I've noticed. Yeah, yeah. A lot of people are drawn to the more modern home. Uh, I think it's kind of like a Vegas thing a little bit too, right? Like you don't see as much of this in California, I feel like. Okay. And uh, who's your typical buyer that buys something like this? You know, there are people who want to either be near a golf course, since Lake Las Vegas has a golf course community, or they want like a home away from the strip, uh, or they just, yeah, they just love being near the lake. Okay. All right, guys. So I can't wait to show you guys inside. So can we go take a look inside? Yeah, let's right, go. Let's Come go. on in. All right. So before we go inside, can you tell me a little bit about this courtyard here? Yeah, so you have a private courtyard. You have the stamped concrete with the river rocks. And then right here, you have the pocket doors that will open into the living area. Over on this side, you have windows that go into the office. And you know, you have the nice desert landscaping, so it's easy to maintain. You have a door right here to give you access to the backyard. Let's come on in inside. We're gonna walk. Oh, thanks for closing the door. Okay. You notice the beautiful flooring. Yep. You have the beach oak wood floors throughout most of the home, other than the bathrooms. Beautiful, I love this flooring. Walk into the kitchen. You have the gorgeous marble backsplash. All the cabinets are custom, upgraded. So this is one of my favorite areas of the kitchen. Mm -hmm. You have the marble countertop. You have the waterfall with the four inch front face. Beautiful. Let me show you guys this, because this is kind of cool. A lot of people are not aware of this. This piece of marble here is actually one piece. They actually did a book match. So what that means is they had a cut of 45, tilt it down so that way you can see the grooves that just come nice and smooth. So I do like that. In addition to that, they actually wrap this for protection. And a lot of people are not aware of this. So this is about like a two mil. So this is actually a hard plastic that's on here, which is really cool. So that way you don't damage your marble. So I do like that. We have the oversized 72 inch Sub-Zero fridge right here. Oh, nice. Yes, the appliances, you have the Wolf Appliances double oven, you have the microwave, the cabinets are all an upgrade. Now take a look at this guys, soft closing cabinets, full dovetails, look at this, look how smooth this is. Ooh, nice. What else yeah. do we have? So you have the Wolf stove right here, 48 inch, six burner, and then you know about the red knobs, right? Yes, so basically we were talking earlier, how do you tell if this is a newer model because of the color of the knobs here? So this is a newer series, this is gonna cost you about $13,000 just for this product alone. Let me slide that back in there, here we go. Matter of fact, if you lose a piece, believe it or not, it costs you about $350 just for one of these knobs. Wow, really? Yeah, wow. so Don't lose I'll them. take a few. <laughs> <laughs> You have the upgraded outlets on the countertops. Right here, you have a few of them going all across the countertop. Ooh, I so like that, that makes it you know, nice and clean and makes the countertop look more seamless. Yeah, and plus you don't want holes on your backsplash anyway. It just looks like trash. This right. is, it's just those little extra details that really customizes the, uh, the home here. Exactly, okay. especially, when, especially when you have this big marble piece, you don't want to really mess mm -hmm. with that backsplash. And what I do is, what I do like is these uh, linear lights right here. So here's the thing, you see this where it's painted black? It's very simple, but it's also hard to do. And the reason why is because, believe it or not, you have to drywall it twice. So you have one layer of drywall, then you come in with another layer, then at that point you have to insert the outlets, then you gotta paint them. So you gotta make sure that you do it right. And this one right here, they did such a quality job and I do like it. Okay, uh, what is this door and why does this have the lock? <laughs> it's the door to the pantry. We want to oh. make sure no one messes with our food here. 
oh, you know, during the yeah. pandemic, you know how that went. So yeah. I think I need to get one of these. All right, so can we take a look inside here? What do we got here? Oh, yeah. so it's You got a very, yes, yes. You got a very spacious pantry here, cabinet, a lot of extra shelving space, very organized, as you can see. And I like <laughs> what they did with the uh, color here. You got the black and the white, brings out the contrast. You got the hardware too, so it actually pops. Yeah. So I do like that. Now, can we come into this section right here? Because I want to come back into this main living area. So we have a formal dining room here. Then you have a 12 foot center slide here. But then looks like we have a full loft area as well, right? Correct, yeah. You have the loft area upstairs looking downstairs. That's actually, you could use it as a game room. They're using it as an entertainment area mm -hmm. with couch and TV and whatnot. So we also have a beautiful slide here. This looks like a 16 foot slide and these are pocket doors, correct? Correct, yes. They go all the way into the wall. So it kind of gives you the indoor outdoor feeling mm -hmm. uh, with the beautiful lake views from the backyard once you walk through. Can you show us opening this thing yeah. up? Yeah. Have you ever seen Wheel of Fortune? This is it right here. Call me Vanna. <laughs> Doesn't she get paid a lot? So for this? it's it's not hard to do then. <laughs> no, just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> We're gonna leave that in there. <laughs> You have about a 10,000 square feet backyard, so there's a lot of room to build a pool if you want a pool. These sellers wanted just easy maintenance, so you have the beautiful desert, low maintenance landscaping. It's a private yard, so the cars that are driving, they actually cannot see into the backyard. Oh, okay. So only you can see out of the backyard, but the cars cannot see into the backyard. Okay, and it yeah. looks like we have a bunch of uh, little lights here and there, so yes. at nighttime, it must look Pretty nice. Beautiful, yeah. All the lights light up at nighttime, correct, yeah. And it looks like we also have a bunch of mountain views and lake views as well. Yes, you have the mountain views, lake views. Uh, once we go on the uh, balcony upstairs, you can see even more of the lake, okay. but you have partial from here as well. So it looks like that should be the primary as well, correct? Correct. That leads out to the back? Correct, okay. yes. That's the primary. They have the sliding doors as well that leads into the backyard. So the primary bedroom also gives you the indoor outdoor feeling as well. Now, one thing I noticed, you got distribute sounds throughout the whole house. In yeah. addition to that, I see cameras yeah. galore. It's like all over, it's covering every single angle. How many cameras in this house? Uh, there's about four cameras outside, so okay. they don't have them inside. Okay, so in the front it. and the back, yeah. Okay. And then you did see the speakers you mentioned, yeah. They upgraded, uh, that's an upgrade that they added, okay. the speakers all throughout the upstairs and downstairs of the home. Can we go take a look at the primary? Yeah, let's all go right. take a look. I forgot to ask you, uh, let's talk about the square footage bedrooms and bathrooms on this property. Yeah, so we're right under 4,700 square feet. Okay. You have four bedrooms plus an office. So the office can really technically be turned into a bedroom if you wanted to add a closet. Uh, four and a half bathrooms. Uh, you have a primary downstairs okay. and one primary upstairs. So nice. two primaries. So there's actually two primaries. So yeah. we need to figure out which one is the primary primary. So we're gonna go figure that out right now. <laughs> All right, show me. All right, let's go on this way. Okay. This will be the primary primary. Got it. <laughs> The primary that you'd want. This is where we had that 12 foot slide that leads us out to the backyard. Yeah. One thing I noticed, uh, the ceilings here are what, nine feet here as well? That's what it looks like? Yes. Mm -hmm. uh, another thing I want to mention is, uh, notice the house has orange peel texture. We have straight edge on cornering to give that modern look. But also one thing I've noticed is they actually spent some money on some wallpaper. Correct. Wallpaper is not cheap, folks. So that's something I want to mention. Also, when you're doing wallpaper, you can't use orange peel texture, so that has to be smoothed out, so that way you can lay that uh, wallpaper, okay? Not only is the wallpaper not cheap, the installment of the wallpaper is not That's cheap, true. right? Just the wall, that wall alone can cost like $1,500 or $1,000 to install, I assume. I need to make more money. <laughs> Let's sell this house. Now, one thing I've noticed about this house, it has a lot of low voltage, so we talked about the security system, we talked about the distribute sounds. In addition to that, we have a flat mount TV here. It's probably got a Smurf tube, probably got a Cat 6 and the coax cable throughout. So that way, if you wanna stream, you know, online stuff, play video games, I'm sure that this home has it all. Now, one thing I've noticed is the bathroom. The bathroom is like one of the most expensive parts next to the kitchen when you're doing a custom home like this. And I cannot wait 
to show you guys what this bathroom actually looks like. Let's go inside. Let's go look. So I could just see right now, as soon as I walk in, I get that spa feeling. Exactly. Immediately. Yes, okay. yes. Made to look like a resort with the beautiful rocks, the gray and white tile, mm -hmm. the marble countertops. Again, you have the same wood cabinets. One thing I've noticed about Blue and Heron, what they're really known for, is if we take a look at the flooring here, this is how difficult this is. When you do the foundation, you're gonna have to lay the concrete here and lay the concrete here and cut all this out and leave all this exposed until the time you actually clad this with the tile and come back in and add the rock. It's just builds attention to details that people are not aware of. The only thing I don't like about this is when it gets dusty, you gotta clean all these. Yeah, yeah. But yeah. however, I don't care because if you're buying a home like this, you're probably gonna have somebody help you clean it. And for me, I like it. What do you think? I think it's beautiful and it adds a lot of character. Mm -hmm. It's a nice design. It's different. It's unique. People seem to love it. So it looks like we have two vanities. They're floating. Here you have additional a bench area. I don't want to say a bench area. Would this be like a makeup counter? Yeah, like, what that's what this? I was going to say. Exactly. Okay. You would need to put a mirror there. There was a mirror, okay. but they took it down. So put a mirror there. You can put a chair. It would, it's perfect. Like vanity set. Put on, just sit there, do your hair, do your makeup perfect area for that. And a great idea that they actually did with this, and I love this, is typically you could have a wall right here, but they didn't put a wall all the way straight up. They had glass here, and it really brings the light in, and it kind of really opens up the whole room, so I do love that. Yes, a lot of natural lighting, and you have the windows up here too to give more natural lighting. Coming into the shower, this is definitely a spa shower. One thing I've just noticed is as soon as you open this, we have a half inch glass and we have a zero threshold right into the spa. Now, would you say this is enough for two people? I think it's definitely enough for two people. Okay, maybe yeah. even two three. Showers. Let's get the camera guy in here. Get in here, John. Maybe even five. Yes, look how large this is. You can literally have about five people in here to take a shower. I mean, this is really cool. It's a pretty cool. big shower, yeah. Okay. So what's down this way? So you have the bathroom this way and then you have the closet in the back. Okay. The bathroom right here. So at Water the closet. Back, yeah, okay. separate. Then you have the beautiful custom closet. So these are Scavellini Italia closets. Oh wow, this is actually Scavellini's? Yes, now, so you know about Scavellini? If you all don't know about Scavellini's, here's the thing, when I build a custom home, I'm gonna use Scavellini's because they're like the top tier when it comes to cabinets, especially in the kitchen. If I'm doing my kitchen, I'm going Scavellini's yeah. all day long. It's a European modern style type of cabinets. Yes, exactly. And they have it all throughout the home. So every bedroom has a Scavellini closet. Okay, yeah. I, and I can tell you this, if I bought this home, one of the things I would negotiate is all this right here. <laughs> it's all coming with the house. You want all the Fendi tops? Yes, that's right. <laughs> I know, they have great taste. Fendi, so, Dior, Louis. One thing I've also noticed is when it comes to custom cabinets inside the closet, they actually skinned the back of the wall and also added the LED light strips, which is really nice. Yes, yeah, and a lot of extra cabinet space here, a lot of space for your shoes with the lights, or you can put purses in there and have the lights shine on them. Yeah, I don't think this is enough for shoes, but your purses, that would look pretty cool. Yeah. Hell yeah. Not enough for shoes for you? Yes, I have a lot of <laughs> shoes. I'm a shoe guy too as well. Okay, so right here you have the video audio room. Oh, nice. You can see the brains of the house is right here. Okay. Next door, we have the powder room. As you can see, more custom alligator wallpaper right here. Oh, nice. Yes, love it, it's beautiful. And back this way, we have the laundry room over here. Laundry room, garage right there. Okay, and how many uh, garage, three car garage? Three car garage, okay. yes, you have three car garage. Over to your left, you have the office space. Okay, and this is the one that takes us out back to the courtyard. Correct, okay. yes. And this is another bedroom downstairs. So you, as you can see, it's a pretty spacious bedroom. Uh, you have windows looking outside. You also have blackout electric shades and um, the panels are against the wall, so it's not a remote, they're already built in. Okay. You have the wood ceiling fans that are actually added to all the bedrooms. Okay. Yeah. Can we go upstairs? 
So as we're walking upstairs, you notice against the wall, they have these added lights as well, which gives, you know, more character, more details, more lighting. Another upgrade. So here we are in the loft area. We have a sliding glass door that goes to the outside balcony where you have the incredible lake views. This is gorgeous. Yeah. As soon as you come up here, everything just feels so open and I'm literally just like drawn to go outside. I don't even wanna go check out the second primary just yet. Can we just go outside? Like yeah. I wanna go outside and I wanna show you what this looks like guys. This is unbelievable. So this is the beauty of Lake Las Vegas because it even looks beautiful during the day. You have yeah. the gorgeous mountains, you can see the lake. It's not like the strip where only at nighttime it's the flashing lights, you know? This is nature and mountains and it's beautiful during the day. So it looks like we even have more land because it goes down. Correct. And we're probably elevated, what, like 20 feet above the street level? Yes, exactly. So that's why the cars can't see us. Yeah, I mean, from the point of view from here, it's a great view. Everything is just completely open. Now the house is actually facing west, so your sun exposure is gonna start here on the east side and it's gonna come on the side of the house and sit in front of the house. So this is like perfect angle especially for the uh, the backyard right now. Now I've noticed that we also have a door here, which is kind of cool for the second primary. Yeah, just like the primary downstairs, they have the doors to go into the backyard. The primary upstairs has the door coming outside into the balcony. So both rooms feature indoor outdoor experiences. All right, let's go take a look at that. Yeah, let's go. And now onto the second primary. So as you can see, this downstairs primary is the main one that was a little bit bigger. Mm -hmm. This has its own custom wallpaper, different color. You don't have electric shades up here because they wanted all the natural sunlight. Yeah. They enjoy the views, the mountains all day, all night long. Okay. Yeah. Then here is the bathroom here. Okay. Yes. So different from the other primary, you have different tile, uh, the shower is different. So I like that about homes when the bathrooms look different. Mm -hmm. And this has that, you don't want a home where both bathrooms, where all the bathrooms look the same. Yeah, where they all mirror each other. Right. It kind of gives that custom feel to it. Correct. And every room you go into, you kind of have your own environment. Exactly. Okay. You want them to be different. And uh, what is this, the elevator? Yes, exactly. Okay. Yeah, see, see you later, Chaka. <laughs> <laughs> They're like, oh, no. <laughs> that was a good one. <laughs> All right, let's go. We were going to send Chuck us up to the room. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, there's the third floor? No. <laughs> there's the third floor. Yes. No. Oh. Okay, guys, so you have a full bathroom right here okay. with the shower, tub, mirror, everything. And then you come right here and you have another bedroom. Again, as you can see, these are pretty spacious bedrooms, right? They're not the, yeah. yeah. Typical standard 10 by 12s, they're all large bedrooms. Correct, yeah. Okay. Windows for natural sunlight, you have the custom speakers, and then another closet here. Meshid, let me ask you this. The uh, HOAs and the Sims are lives here? Yeah, so you have the quarterly association fee to Lake Las Vegas for 465. Mm -hmm. You have a monthly HOA fee for 277. And then the Sids and Lids is annually 1,666. And then you have a balance of 21,957. Oh, wow. Now, if somebody's actually interested in this property, the earnest money deposit for something like that, how much would I have to put down? So we have about a $75,000 earnest money deposit on this home right now. Okay. And the asking price of this home? $2,295,000. Million, $2 million. Wow. Yeah. You said $2 million? $2 million. You two million. Said, oh, two million now? Two million, two, I said two million, two nine five. You said two million. I know, I'm trying to negotiate for you oh. guys right now. <laughs> two million, two nine five. Okay. So here, guys, if you guys want more information about this property, I'll have a link in the description below so that way you guys can see the full details. And also if you want to set up an appointment, I'll have all that information. We could tour this property personally just with you and you can see what's going on. Now, is there anything else that you want to let us know about this property that we probably missed? 
Uh, I would say, so we have restoration hardware inside the entire house. Mm -hmm. So if a buyer wants to purchase it fully furnished, they can also put that in the offer as well. Got it. Yeah. For two million, two hundred. Ninety-five. Ninety-five. All right, well, I really do appreciate it. And hopefully yeah. we do another video together. Yeah, well, hopefully we can do a sale together, right? That's right, call yes. us. <laughs> Ace.